you've ever had this problem, but squeaky disc brakes can be annoying. I thought we'd try something. There are a number of compounds you can get to uh, grind on the uh, brake disc, but because it's stainless steel, it's a it, it's a it's a tough material. It's not necessarily a, a real hard material, but it, it's tough. It's kind of kind of gummy, if you will, uh, in metals. So what we have here is a zirconia blue used sanding disc. I keep them around for for sanding stainless steel and it's adhesive back where it fits on a, uh, a disc sander this one happens to be uh, a Norton brand but it's it's sticky on the back side which I think will be to our benefit what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a narrow strip down here that I can use sort of like a feeler gauge in the uh, brake system to rough up the surface of the disc so we'll cut a strip and, uh, and try it out. Okay, we've got some strips cut. Uh, they're about one inch wide and I went ahead and cut through the middle because this area is going to have the most uh, abrasive uh, part of the grit, the, the zir zirconia grit. Uh, this is or was a uh, 100 degree uh, paper or fabric and because it's been used a number of times, in fact you can see out here that uh, this has been used on plastics, uh, phenolic plastics, so it's pretty gummy even though I've tried to clean it several times. So this is a, this is only used for metals at this time. Anyway, there's our little, our feeler gauge. It has the peel off plastic on the back so that we can get to the abrasive or to the uh, adhesive. And we're gonna we're gonna use that as a feeler gauge in there and see if it uh, see if it works. The, the, the paper protection on the back is about thirty five thousandths, and I peeled the paper away a moment ago. It is actually thirty thousandths when we're uh, we're going to be using it. So you may have to loosen up your your brake pad adjustment to uh, to get this in there. You can see down through there. I'm going to loosen that pad up where if I get the distance on one side I can really bend the, uh, the rotor over to get it in the other. Now we're not talking about a high speed grind, we're talking about a very low speed grind for a very brief period of time, so uh, bear with me. Okay, I'm going to put this in there. You want to get it out far enough to where it's out near the edge of the rotor. There we go. Now get it on the other side. I'm take it for a little grind. I went ahead and adjusted the brake pads back closer to the rotor. Let's give it a little bit of a test here. Grindy sign sound. I think we need to grind some more. We're heading in the right direction. Well, let's uh, give it a little bit of a brake test here.
dragging the brakes. I suppose you could reverse the sandpaper on brand new discs and, and, and really hone them in as well. Barely got the brake applied. It seems to seems to have gotten this uh, better. We'll take it back to the shop and blow it off with an air compressor. Look at it, uh, readjust the brakes, and go from there. We'll try the left brake. Just a subtle, subtle hint of squeal. And the right brake. Low speed, which seems to be where it most effective. And with the raindrops hitting me, we're going to call this a day here. I think you can see by the, uh, the amount of grit left on these little pieces of paper. The one on the left was not used. The one on the right was used. So you can see the amount of grit that was, was taken off just by uh, working those discs. The only thing left to do now is just to uh, blow it off and uh, readjust it. So. should get it. Let's adjust it.